dollars for girls and blue was for boys just to make people have to buy more clothes. If you're done. And so my point is, kudos to Darlene for letting Mark be himself. I mean, given the choice, who knows how many children would choose a style different from what society has assigned to them. Thank you, Aunt Jackie. Oh, and grown-ups, too. You know, when I'm home alone, sometimes I like to light a few candles and put on some prints and dance in front of a mirror wearing men's boxers and an old fishing hat. You can get off my side now. Darling, here's Mom. It's okay if you think it's fine that he plays dress up around the house, but if you care about his safety, you'll make him wear pants to school. Oh, so you're saying when he's out of the house, he's got to pretend to be someone he's not? Yes. <laughs> if I didn't do that, we'd never be able to cash a check anywhere. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. I I'm not going to raise him that way. And by the way, you didn't have any problem when I wore basketball shorts and a bull jersey to school every day. So, Lady God did not give me this big a head to hold the narrow mind. <laughs> I'm totally cool with girls who like basketball, boys who like sewing. But you're dreaming if you think he is an in for a world of hurt. Yeah, and we're totally not bigoted because we already came to terms with the fact that you were gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. You know, gay people throughout history. We're not talking about gay. The kid is nine years old. He's too young to like girls or boys yet. And frankly, wherever this lands with Mark, I'm fine with it. And so am I. I'm totally fine with gay. My daughter's gay. <laughs> I'm smart, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do breakfast. You had a carbo load. I have a feeling today's going to be more of a marathon than a sprint. Come on, Mom. I don't want to be late. Oh, I'm going to start walking. No, you have to drive me. You've got to be there to set This is Rosie and Season 10, wow. the new one they made back in 2000. And seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, yeah, something like that. <laughs> this is when Roseanne was yeah. on the I'm taking you to school. The tenth. Before they fired her. <laughs> the last okay, time you see her. Kind of adult, but you're growing up and. I think you can handle it. Do you feel like you're a boy or a girl? A boy. Well, you answered that pretty quick. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more complicated. So what's up with the girls' clothes? This just feels like me. I like colors that pop. It's more creative. <laughs> well, your mom's creative, so I get that. But here's the thing. You've got to pick your fights in life. How important is this to you? It's important. Okay. Well, you know it's going to be rough on you at school, right? But we'll back you up. Oh. Kind of scary talking to your old girl on huh? I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> <laughs>